full ascent. This game is like very close to full release. I have no idea how they could put more into this game besides the final boss. Path of Destinies, which I think is the name of this update. Path of Destinies, you can now customize the game difficulty by progressively increasing your destiny level, adding new unique challenges. Main objective, make it interesting, make it easy to understand, make it accessible, and make the end of it hard. I think uh, destiny level one, increase attack patterns. Level two, increase by two stars, the minimum difficulty in each room. That's pretty interesting. Destiny 3, Shadow Clone Jutsu. Enemy health and damage, including bosses. 100% chance of elite enemy. New attack patterns on bosses. The dev basically is saying that we don't think you can do all of these at the same time. We want to trickle it in. Otherwise, we guarantee you will die on the spot if you had all of these three on and nothing to buff up your character. Once you succeed to beat Destiny level 6, you can freely increase the Destiny level as much as you want, up to 54. This is the Void Catalyst. You can use it to unlock new abilities at the cost of Destiny Fragments. So basically, in this game, they have a heat system with increasing difficulty. They actually reworked the entirety of the system. You get these things called Void Fragments. Well, you get a preset because apparently there's a lot of different ones you can get, all with different prices. But like you have all of these choices of things that you want to do to buff your character. When you start, only one row is available. The more levels you get, the more rows you unlock. And then you can redistribute. I like the system. You have a lot of elements you can improve and you can check all your improvements from the Void Catalyst. Lifestones, damage on full life, crit hit, life restoration, strength up, keys, spell level. Choose between 24 different bonuses, spell max level. With the 54 Destiny levels, it means you can find 800 fragments. We offer an additional 10 when you succeed a run for the first time. And they want you to spend the fragments that you've gotten to level up your character. For example, your Destiny level 10, you already collected four Taurus fragments. You could beat Taurus six times at level 10 and still get new fragments. And eventually it will catch up. So this is like Hades, where it like, it keeps track in order how many fragments you should have gotten and then once you hit the point where it's caught up it stops until you go further i don't know i'd almost rather them give me all the fragments that i deserve if i bump the difficulty up uh we would still recommend to increase slowly destiny levels you collect destiny fragments and improve your void catalyst each destiny level increases damage hp enemies of enemies and zodiacs at plus six, they reach 30%. At 54, they have 300% life. Wow. Everything will be more intense. You'll unlock many things. And true ending will also be possible at higher destiny level. If they can do it at like level six. I believe Rogue Legacy 2 true ending is like new game plus seven. Dead Cells, of course, the true ending is at five BC. That's gonna be interesting. This is the meta progression character. She now has more upgrades and we remove some of the old ones. Um, I'm okay with this kind of meta progression. The stuff that's just like increase your health is kind of boring, but things like spell level increase and the randomization stuff, that stuff's pretty fun. We are genuinely curious of how high you'll be able to get in destiny levels. The next update should be mid August and should add more content to the game and polish mini systems. This is a Kickstarter game, by the way. There's like so much sauce to the game. This game just is dripping in sauce. I, I have no idea how they got this much sauce in this game.